Hi there, it's Rachel Gregg here and in today's video I want to share a little flip through of my December daily journal for 2021. So on my YouTube channel I've shared a few videos on how I've created some of these pages in this journal. So I haven't done as many videos as I did in 2020 where I did a video every day. Uh, this time around I did one video for every six or seven days or something like that just to give you a little overview on how I created the pages and what I did and how I use these little tip-ins and various things like that. So this video here I just want to do like a little wrap up and just show you all the different pages all in one video and just highlight some of the things that uh, might help you in your journaling if you're still finishing up your December daily or if you're watching this sometime in the future and you're trying to get ready for a new December daily for a future year. So what I've uh, created in this time round was a Dilutions Dialogue journal. Uh, so this was the grid pattern one. This is called grid number two. Uh, Diane did have another one with a different cover for the grid, uh, but this one's grid number two. So it's got the green cover with the little flowers on the top. And I thought that would be, you know, really nice for a Christmas themed journal being that it's green and it has worked quite nicely and I love the paper inside this journal because it is thick enough to handle quite a lot of the mixed media that I do inside this journal. So for the first page here uh, you can see here how I've created a little title here using darkroom door stamps. This is the sketched alphabet stamp and then use little pine leaves around the sides and for this one here this was a um, a little card front that I never ended up using for a card so I've put it in here just as like a title page and this is like a little ready form stamping technique where you end up with these little boxes here and then you stamp inside each one and it gives you a nice little um, image there for your cards or for your journals. And you'll see here how I've uh, painted some of the backgrounds here on the pages. So I either used paint or I used ink to cover up some of the backgrounds here. That's mainly paint. But then on this one here, how you can see how it's ink. So I just kind of switched it up throughout the journal. And you'll see there's little curved edges here on the pages. Now there is a video where I've shown exactly how you can do that um, to create like a big curved page and then you can create a little curved page. So it'll be a big curved page and then again to a little curved page. And it just makes it interesting for the journal. So you've got different pages every time you flip through the journal and it just gives you something interesting to decorate onto when you're decorating that page. So you can see here I've used a combination of darkroom door stamps, I've incorporated some photos here and also some collage tissue and some book pages. So I just laid things up to tell the story of that day. This one here, this page here has just got paint in the background, laid up some collage. Now I also use some pre-stamped pieces. So I have a little pencil case that's full of pre-stamped things from previous projects. So I've incorporated some of that this year to use some of those up. And it's really handy having that um, available so you can make it easier to decorate your journals. So I did lots of journaling on this. This one was from a prompt from Ali Edwards. She did one of her December daily journals using right now and then these little uh, sections and then I journaled underneath each one of those. This one here, this is using one of the little smaller tip-in uh, journal pieces that I did and just used that for the date and then I just stamped the bold arrows darkroom door eclectic stamp on the side here and then used the um, alphabet medley stamps which includes these numbers to create a little list for that day of what we did. This page here, this is also using some of that collage tissue. This is a Tim Holtz collage tissue. It's really nice. It just added some little bit of nature to my pages. And I just added a tag here that just makes it a little easier to fold over that page. And then some little stamped pieces around the edges. Now, all the stamps I've used in this journal, I'll list in the description box below. Um, and I like to mix and match. So I've got this one here. This is an abstract stamp that I have painted for these pages and then adding some photos. So the photos here that I'm using, I've used uh, different sizes. So this one here is like a full six by four. And then you'll see like back here where I used some smaller ones. So these ones are from the HP Sprocket printer. And then also I've printed out some smaller ones as well, just from the photo printer that I have at home. 
Uh, this is another painted background. Now this one here, this is a little inked background and I use some little inked book pages for this. Another big uh, image here of our advent calendar and then collaged the dates throughout the book. And then I'm just using little bits and pieces uh, from different Christmas stamp sets to decorate the edges and, and that's what I like about using like little tiny stamps I find they're really good fillers for the insides of your journals just to finish off your pages in case you've got little extra bits around the page that needs filling in this page here this started off quite vibrant if you go back and watch the video on this and then I've just toned it down and, and did like a little whitewash over this page it just it tones it down so if you're finding that some of your backgrounds are a little bit too bold or a little bit too colorful to journal onto then just give it a little bit of white paint and give it a white wash it tones it down while still being able to see the pattern underneath and then you can easily journal over the top so these these two pages here are using a lot of watercolor pieces uh, that i created these were inspired or this one here and these were inspired by Jenna Rainey and then I've just uh, continued on after I was doing these ones from her YouTube video I then just started doing my own words and came up with a whole stack of um, watercolor pieces in the journal and you'll see more as I get up here there's more watercolor pieces throughout the journal and it's just adds a really nice soft touch I really love doing watercolor and they're excellent little collage pieces for you to add in your journal this page here is using like inked backgrounds again which i just use these little mini distress inks to create some little inky backgrounds and over here this is a painted background and then i stamped over the top using a word block stamp um, added some book page and then uh, use these journal blocks this is from the everyday life i've still got this sitting on the on the table here an everyday life stamp set and that's really um, easy to use to actually put your journaling inside. Added a small photo. Um, and then this one here, this is using the large carved leaves stencil. And it's not necessarily Christmas related. So you don't always have to use Christmas supplies in your December daily. Of course, it's just, it's all about December. So it doesn't matter what you're journaling about. It could be about Christmas or it could be just about what's going on. Um, at that time so I use a lot of different supplies but generally try and keep it in kind of the warm red orange tones here and then obviously the greens as well because I still like that red green Christmas feel to it um, now this one here this is like adding a little photo flap into the journal and then creating a little title down here and this page here, I um, was looking at one of James Burke's Christmas videos on creating or drawing this little gingerbread uh, lady. So I did that and then just journaled around it. So that was a nice fun page to do. So I'll also link down to James's videos so you can check that out if you'd like to see how he did that one. Uh, this one here, I'm just stamping a whole quote. So usually or up till now, I've been doing um, like a page for every double page spread. This one here, I just did a quote on its own. I didn't do any dates. So this time round or the next page along, I did a double day. So 13th and 14th of December and then put it all on the one page. So you don't always need to journal on every day. You can mix it up and add some days in as well. Just depends on what pages you have in your book. So this day here was all about uh, completing a jigsaw that we did and then moving along here. This is just yeah general journaling. I was using some tags and this is just another page of photos here and then just journaling down the side here. So you can journal in all sorts of different ways like just around photos or sideways like this one here or down the little strips that you've got there. Um, then this one here, I wanted a really bold background for this to go with the little Spider-Man image here that I had stuck in. So I painted the whole background red and then added some little golden uh, pen down there. And then just journaling about that day. This one here added another little photo flip. For this one, I was actually doing a painting, an abstract painting inspired by Laura Horn. I was yeah completing that on that day. And then I've just used stenciling around there to finish telling that story. So this one here, this is just another painted background on this side. Uh, and this is all about making gingerbread houses, which is a Christmas tradition that my daughter Zoe has. Uh, this one here is about doing a walk up to Foresters. This is what um, I do a lot of walks around there for getting out into nature. So this was about that day. 
Uh, now this one here, this is all about uh, Yule and Yule Tide and Yule Fest because our family name is Yule. So uh, the 21st is generally considered the uh, winter solstice, which is what uh, or where you all originated from. And I was just writing about the story of that. Now I found this uh, really nice image uh, that explained it really nicely. So I've added that into my journal here. And this year we had, uh, or Zoe had a new uh, cookie cutter set to create this beautiful gingerbread Christmas tree. So that was one of the things she wanted to do this Christmas. And she cooked it up and it tasted absolutely delicious. And uh, so we think we don't know if we can wait till next Christmas before she does another one, but uh, it was very, very delicious. So I took a photo of that once it was all completed and just journaled the story. So these two little journal blocks here are from the journal stamp set. This is one of the very, very earliest stamp sets I designed for Darkroom Door. Um, now we're probably talking about 13 years ago now. Um, and that's still available so you can still purchase these or this stamp set um, it's just called journal and it's got four little different journaling blocks inside of it and I just used two of them together um, on this page and it's just a really nice way to add some journaling to the page and this one here this is it's from the kitchen stamp set and it's a really nice one to use when you're doing pages all about cooking so next up nearly up to Christmas here so I just take a photo of our Christmas tree with the presents underneath and then also added in um, some stamping. Now this one here has, it's, if I lift it up and show you, it's been embossed. So it's got that really nice shimmer look to it. And then more watercoloring pieces that I created from that um, Jenna Rainey video that I was watching. So I've actually done a tag here. Now this is one of those little small journal pages. And I've done a tag there um, over the top and then a photo over the top this way. So it is... You know a, a larger flap to turn over basically and then got a little uh, tag there as well and one of the christmas tags that was used for one of the gifts so more watercolor pieces that i've done here and adding a larger photo of our christmas day which was spent or some of it was spent on the beach which was fun and the kids both had um have a cool yule t-shirts which they found uh, at one of the shops this year which is always fun because their surname is Yule so uh, they always find it really funny when we can find some Yule um, items for this time of the year and just adding lots again lots of little stars for that little stamping just to fill in the little sp um, places where it has little spaces so now going on beyond Christmas we've got um, Sunday the 26th my brother Daryl went in the Sydney to Hobart race so this is Daryl and Kev who um, have the boat Rogue Wave and this was taken by my brother Pete who took this just before they set sail on that day so I was just talking about the story of watching them um, sail away on that race it's always very exciting very nerve-wracking as well because you know they're about to go on a great adventure and uh, and then this here just moving on so I've got some glitter going on to the photos here as well from these cute little cards uh, so again just more title pages here using these small little tip-in pages more journaling and I'm also using some number circles that I had purchased off Etsy now I can't quite remember where I purchased them from but I'm sure if you do a search on Etsy you'll be able to find plenty of little circle numbers there available and this here, these are some cute little Merry Christmas cards that my nieces had um, made for us. Uh, so I've just put them in just with a little paper clip. I've got some stamping here. Now I've done some seaside stamping because I'm talking about Daryl's trip in Sydney to Hobart and the story with that. Now I've got some more little photos here of our time at the beach. We're spending a lot of time at the beach at this time of year. More stories here. This one here usually has a clip in it, but it doesn't have it at the moment. And I've just usually clipped that in there. This is our little newsletter that we do every year to send out some, some to some family. And just a photo of Daryl and I just before that was it was taken on Christmas Day, but um, I didn't have room back on that day. So I've just put it in here because I'm talking about uh, Daryl's um, little event there in Sydney to Hobart. And then last page here is New Year's Eve. And I've just decorated this with a party time stamp set from Darkroom Door and also some fireworks stamps, which was out of the celebration stamp set and finished it off to match up with the beginning so i wanted to use exactly the same stamp set so that's the sketched alphabet stamp set and just colored it in with different uh, distress inks just using a water brush
And that is my journal all complete now for December 2021. If you'd like to see how I created um, these pages more thoroughly, then feel free to check out all the videos in the December daily playlist, which will show you various bits and pieces, not everything that I've done, but mostly how I've done the backgrounds and then how I've added in all the little different bits and pieces as I have gone along. So I hope this has inspired you. Thanks so much again for watching and have a great day.